What's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. Welcome back to STL Cars. I have no idea why I'm so kind of chirpy this morning. It's currently 25 to 7 in the morning. It's still pitch black. I mean, it is getting a little bit lighter now. But we're up early today um, because we're yet again doing another mod to the S5. Um, this one is quite a biggie as well. This is quite a significant mod. Um, and we're up this early because we've got a two hour drive to go to where we're getting this done. Um, so we're going to see a, a guy called George from the UK A5 Owners Club um, who does this as a, a bit of a kind of side thing um, but you've seen from the title already we are going getting the brake setup done on the S5 now we're doing this what I consider the right way so before we go tuning it and making it stupid power um, we're going to get the brakes done so then it can actually stop because there's nothing worse than going really fast and then not being able to stop so we're going to go get the brakes done um, we should get there for around about 8.30 uh, and we should be there most of the day so I'll film again when we get there. With that being said, we're just going to jump straight into the video and with a little bit of YouTube editing, when I clip my fingers we will be um, at George's place and getting ready to fit the brakes. So in 3, 2, 1, uh, let's go. So guys, we're here and um, we've just hooked up with George now. Um, so he's just in the shed getting some of the tools and stuff out. We get straight into it, we're going to get cracking on the brakes. So guys, here we are. Here are the calipers that are going on. So we've got some nice meaty four pot Brembos that have been nicely painted in a red uh, and matching rears. The rears are just um, normal S5 calipers, but these are just all refurbished ones with um, all new parts in. So they're nice and shiny and brand new. So just as a comparison, that is the standard calipers before see just the normal black calipers the s5 logo on them with the uh, the normal flat discs and if we look at the backs as well so again just normal standard black calipers obviously the calipers that are going on the back are the same calipers just obviously refurb painted with all new parts in them and we're getting brand new uh, four pot brembos on the front so once we've got them all fitted, you'll be able to uh, see the comparison between the stock brakes and the new brake setup. So we got to removing the caliper. This was easy. You just had to remove the two bolts on the back. Once this was removed, we then went onto the disc, which was just removing the single retaining screw. And then with a hit of a hammer, the, uh, the disc came off pretty easily. Um, then we just took a wire uh, wheel on a drill and cleaned up the brake guard at the back because this was then going to get painted. So we did this with a, uh, a coat of primer first and then we hit it with the gloss black just so it looks nice and clean and fresh. Once this had dried, we then uh, moved on to installing the new parts. So we started with the disc, so we just put a bit of copper slip onto the hub just so the disc uh, didn't bind itself on there. Lined up the new disc, as you can see we've gone for some nice drilled discs. And then it was just a case of tightening up the retaining screw on the new disc. So guys, as I said, we're not doing things by half, so we've gone for the Brembo pads, which are, are going all around, and we've even gone for braided lines. So we've got them in this quite nice, um, it's like carbon effect colour, looks pretty smart. But yeah, we've gone for braided lines as well, so we're not cutting any corners with the brakes. So they should be uh, a lot better than the standard ones and look a lot better as well. So we're just going to uh, get to fitting these rear caliper now. So next we went on and we removed the old rear caliper uh, and then we went to fitting the new one. So here we are just screwing the line, the braided line into the caliper. And then it was just the reverse of removing the old one. We screwed it back on using the, uh, the two bolts on the back and then we fitted the braided line to the fifth brake lines. After that, it was then time to bleed the system, so we just uh, opened up the brake fluid reservoir, topped it up, and then we went on to bleeding the brakes, which I didn't go into on the video, but essentially just pumping the air out. So we're just making a start on the front calipers now. So pretty simple, similar to the backs. So all we've got to do, a little, a little camera will focus. Um, so you can see there, just down here, I've got the uh, socket on the bolt that holds the 
carrier on for the caliper, so we're just going to remove that and take the carrier and the caliper off as a whole because obviously they're going to get replaced. So I'm just uh, making a start on this one and George is on the other side doing the other. So we're going to get both these off, hopefully speed up the job uh, a little bit with us both doing one side. Once we've done that, we'll get the disc off and then we'll put the new discs on, we'll show you them in a second. Uh, and then it'll literally just be a case of clamping down the old brake line, disconnecting the uh, disconnecting it from the old, um, disconnecting the brake line from the car, and then we've got the new braided lines going onto the new Brembos, and we'll get that all connected up. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna crack on getting this caliper off, and then we'll check back in with you guys in a second. We then removed the old caliper off the car. And then we went on and clamped the old brake line. Doesn't matter about this because we're not going to be reusing it. Then we went to remove the disc. We had to hammer in a bigger size socket here because the nut stacks are thread. But we managed to get that off with no real issues. Once we've done this, I then went on to sanding down the hub, um, or filing the hub, and this was just to make sure that we got a nice smooth finish. So then when we put the new disc on, it was nice and flush. And then again, with the same as the rears, we just got a sanding wheel to get the dirt off. So guys, just to speed things up, we're both doing like a side each for the front. So these are the front Brembos, as you can see. Four pots, very nice, all nice and painted. Put a nice black smudge on it. Um, so, wow, the weight difference between these and the standard ones. I'm gonna take these out now to the front and we'll just show you the size difference and I'm not gonna scale, but I can just tell the weight difference. These are so much lighter, so. Weight saving as well as uh, improving stopping power. So let's take these out and we'll go and get these fitted onto the car. So here you go guys, you can see the difference between the standard S5 caliper and the new Brembo's. So size wise, there's probably not much in it in the actual physical size of the caliper, but obviously these are four pots. These are just one single pot. Um, but the main difference, we're just saying with George, the, the weight difference between this compared to this, like obviously you can't feel it on the video, but that is really heavy. Whereas that, I'd probably say one of those or two of those is probably near enough the same weight as one of those. It's that that much different. So we've got uh, we've got the first one painted up, um, the shield behind or the brake shield, um, and I'm going to go do the other side now while George is uh, cracking on fitting this, and then we'll uh, we'll finish off from the other side, and then we'll pretty much be done. Uh, obviously, we'll do the standard thing. We'll take out for a uh, take it out for a test drive, make sure that we can stop. And, uh, and then yeah, we're all good. Guys, we've got the last one all bled. So we've got the rears are obviously done, the wheels back on the front and now all bled up. Um, just gotta put the wheels back on, have a little tidy up, go for a little drive, make sure they're all working right, and then that's us done. So um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, just help George tidy everywhere up now, and then we'll get the wheels back on, and then we'll show you guys the uh, the finished result once the wheels are back on. George, just before it gets uh, too late, mate, I just want to say thank you very much. Much right, appreciated. Um, if you guys want any of your um, brakes doing or brakes set up, George does these um, just as a bit of a hobby, um, and he charges a really, really good price. I mean, if you know anything about cars, you'll know that what he charges for doing this this kit and this setup is really, really reasonable, and the fact that he does all the labour and stuff as well for you is just next level. So. If any of you guys have got an A5 or an S5 and you want in um, a brake upgrade doing to your car, he does loads of different kits. Um, if you want to find him, uh, if you look for George Bailey in the UK A5 Owners Club, 
It's a Facebook page. I'll link the uh, the Facebook page in the description so you can find it. But if you find George Bailey on there, he's the guy who can uh, hook you up. Like I said, he does a number of different kits um, for the A5s and S5s. Whether it's uh, you want an A, you've got an A5 and you want to upgrade to an S5 setup, or you've got an S5 and you want to upgrade to the the big brakes. You can literally chop and change loads of different things. You can have different discs. You can have different calipers. You can have braided lines. Um, different pads basically he will make it bespoke for your um what you want so go and check out george like like i said mate thanks again much appreciated um absolutely wicked job i'm made up with it so um, we're just going to get tidied up now get the wheels back on and then we'll uh, we'll shoot show you guys the uh, the final result but yeah looking at it now they look absolutely wicked and the red was definitely the right choice i think against the the color of the car so We'll uh, check back in with you guys once we've got the wheels back up. So there we have it guys, we've finally got the brake set up sorted on the S5. Now you may notice that I'm uh, in different clothes completely than the first half of this video, that's because this video is, or this, this part of the video is being filmed probably about two or three weeks after we've got the brakes done. I've just not had the chance to just end the video and film this. I do apologise if the wind noise is a little uh, little much. It's very windy today. But I just wanted to try and finally get this filmed, do the little final show uh, reveal of the brake setup, and it looked wicked. I'm really, really pleased with it. The performance difference over the standard brakes is definitely noticeable. Like, I've got a lot more confidence in them now when I'm proper needing to use the brakes you can tell that there's a lot more braking force there obviously because um bigger calipers more pistons etc so yeah they just feel a lot better than the standard brakes and as i said in the first bit of this video they're um they're so much lighter as well than the standard brakes so that's a big positive as well but yeah i think they look absolutely great they look so good in the red i'm so glad we went with the red it properly stands out against the blue and yeah, I just think it looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy with them and how they've turned out. It just it, it just adds a nice little bit of colour to uh, to the car from everything else being gloss black. So yeah, really happy with how that's turned out. Once again, a massive shout out to George who, uh, who helped me do these um, and got the brakes all set up for me. Like I said, they're all uh, brand new, like reconditioned pistons, everything in them are brand new. So I know and I'm confident that these are gonna last probably as long as I own the car. I probably not need to touch the brakes again now. So yeah, really, really happy with them. That's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed doing it and I've learned a lot as well because I've never really done brakes before apart from changing pads and discs, but I've never touched calipers before. So that was good to learn and really happy that George let me uh, lend a hand and learn something new. And, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the new brakes. Um, and hit the like button as well if you like the video remember to hit that subscribe button as well with the bell icon it would be really really appreciated if you did and it means a lot we're slowly growing the channel we're think on 150 something subscribers now so slow and steady but we're getting there so once again if you did enjoy that video smash that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys see you then